I'm running a few errands, so I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, can I go rub my bike? Yes, but I don't want you getting into any more fights. If you meet someone, be nice. Don't touch them unless they put their hands on you first. Yes, ma'am. I won't start any more fights, Mom. I promise. All right. You let me take it for a spin. Sorry, but no. I guess since you're new around here, I need to teach you the ground rules. You see, me and my friend here run this block. And my brother's gang runs this entire neighborhood. So every kid I come across knows how to show me respect. You're not touching my bike. No. Vic! I'm telling the truth. He tried to take my bike. I told him no, then he threatened me, pushed me, and tried to hit me. I was defending myself. I hope you tell the truth because that boy's parents are probably very angry. You let a kid smaller than you almost break your arm? I didn't let him do anything. Yeah, that's why you're sitting right here pouting. He caught me off guard. He just came up to me out of nowhere swinging. Where does he live? Around the corner on Little Neck Road. I think it's time they will let our new neighbors know who's in charge of this neighborhood. Joe, you're up.
pretty good kid. <laughs> yeah, I know. It doesn't even make any sense. Don't worry about it though, he's gonna get his. What about that guy that, um, the one you made the other day? The, uh, um, Mark Silverstein. something you're not telling us. What the heck kind of kid is this? I don't know. I told you, he just jumped me out of nowhere. Child or not, his life is mine now. I need us to get out. I need to talk to Antonio. Aeneas, don't go near his house again. Something to do with Joe's death. I don't know. But I don't trust him. I'm not here to fight. I came to apologize. I heard about your mom. Is she? She's fine. Thank God. Why do you care? What happened to her is my fault. I should have never tried to fight you. I was being very stupid. What do you mean it was your fault? The guy that attacked you last night is one of my brother's friends. One of the guys in his game. So you had him come after me and my mom? No, no. My brother Mark got angry after I told him what happened between us. He was the one that sent Joe. Look, I also came to warn you. My brother isn't the type of person to let things go. You just murdered one of his best friends. What was I supposed to do? He was gonna do God knows what to me and my mom. I know. I know you didn't have any choice, but that doesn't matter to Mark. He's gonna come after you and your mom. Neither one of you are safe. You need to leave town. You can't. My mother's in no condition to be moving right now. Thanks to your brother's friend. She needs to recover. She was cut pretty badly. And if it wasn't for me, she'd probably be dead. You don't have no family or friends that can come help and get you two out of here? Nope. Just me and my mom. It's always just been me and my mom. I thought I broke your arm. No. Thankfully, you only dislocated it. And what happened to your friend? Where's he? Keegan's in the hospital. Oh. Why do you go along with everything your brother does? You know it's wrong. Because he's my brother. And I know he'll hurt me if I go against him. He's hurt me before. Well, I'm gonna tell the police that you said it was your brother that sent that crazy Joe guy. You can't. Mark can't find out that I told you anything about him. I don't have a choice. I'm not gonna risk my mom's or my life because you're scared of him. When the cops get to him, he won't be able to hurt you. You don't get it. Things like this have happened before. My brother always somehow gets away with anything he does. He's good at covering his tracks. He was confronted and even taken to the police station before, but they could never pin anything on him. There was no evidence. I even tried to tell them the truth about him, but they still let him go. That was when he hurt me. For snitching. Well, if you can't leave, there's only one other thing we can do. What? Confront him. want to be free from him and make sure that he doesn't hurt anyone else again. I don't know. Trust me.
Yeah, it's here. All right. Where were you? Just out and about. Really? Where exactly is out and about? A couple of stores in the mall. I didn't know a mall also had an outside area with houses. You know, you're not very smart. You've never been. Time after time I try to teach you to make the right decisions and you always screw up. That's why you're not one of us. I don't want to be one of you. I hate you. Then who are you going to be, Han? Huh? You're nothing without me, you stupid little punk. I'm tired of watching you hurt people. <laughs> no one knows! Except the idiots that we make pay up every now and then. This whole neighborhood is under our control. It's been this way for years. These people give us whatever we want because they respect and fear us. That's right. Everything we have, everything I've gotten for you since mom and dad died is because I know how to take control. And if I have to, I'll keep hurting these people to let them know who's in charge around here if it means living the way we want to. And I start again with your friend. What's his name? Vic. Maybe I'll do what Joe couldn't and finish Vic's little mom this time, too. Take him outside and teach him a lesson. Seems like you also need to be taught who's in charge around here. I'll be back later. I have to go take care of some business. What is this? No one knows. Except the idiots that we make pay up every now and then. I can't believe you actually set us up. <laughs> Remember, if either one of them finds out, focus on the phone. Don't worry about fighting them. Just get the phone away from them. Mark's guys. Oh, you got it. Let's go put him inside. Yeah, right before Mark gets taken. I know I'm not such a pushy after all. Let's go out the back way. I don't want to run into your brother if you go out the front. Yeah, all right.
kind of weird. Yeah, let's go. Finally learned this lesson. Hey man, Antonio. By the way, I'm about to leave town. Where to? Pennsylvania with my uncle. He's in the Air Force and he's finally retiring and coming home. Nice. Well, I'm happy for you. Hope everything works out. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Vic, for everything you've done. Hey, if it weren't for you, the plan would have never worked. Finally found the courage to stand up to him. Now, a lot of people are living happy, including me and my mom. See you. Hey! Keep in touch! I will! This isn't what I wanted to be 